welcome friends to Healthy Ram Studio, our portal, our as in yours and ours, uh, for the wellness of the body, mind and soul. Today we have in our studio Preeti Sangha and uh, she's going to share her uh, Geo Yoga initiative with us. So, hello, hello, hello. Hi Preeti. I'm uh, so happy to be here. You welcome. This is great, thank you. So, so tell us something about your uh, take on yoga, what, what is yoga as for you? Yoga, um, actually let me start with the word yoga. The yo word yoga in Sanskrit means to join. So it's about unity, it's about uh, oneness. On a spiritual level, it is uh, your own individual consciousness merging with the universal consciousness. I know that gets a little heavy for a lot of people, so I think I'll keep that short. But on a more practical level, it is a balancing and uh, harmonizing of your mind and your body and your spirit. So when you get that harmony, then you aspire for much bigger, better uh, consciousness. And that's, uh, that is one of the basic things of uh, yoga. The other thing is um, Patanjali's Yoga Sutras is the cessation of the fluctuations of the mind. Chit, Vritti, Nirod. And in that, we all have fluctuations. We all know that, right? Sure. We've, our mind fluctuates because of various reasons. We are functioning on a physical plane, on a mental plane, on an intellectual plane. Even our energy body, which is uh, a pranic level, is functioning on another level. All these fluctuations are uh, balanced with the practice of yoga, sure. which we are always aspiring to do, create balance in our life. So yoga is a way of living. Okay. So when you say yoga is a way of living, uh, then uh, why do we get injuries? You know, a lot of people I've noticed, you know, uh, they uh, tend to even injure themselves in the practice that... Uh, that is so true. That is right. Uh, actually, you, you kind of answered it yourself. Yoga is a way of life, not somebody else's way of life. That is the problem where uh, people injure themselves when they try to copy somebody else's way of life. Mm -hmm. But as in yoga, if you try and imitate somebody else's way of doing yoga asan or somebody else's yoga routine, okay. you find injury in you because you are not recognizing your true self. Your true capability of doing an asan will be different from somebody else's when you're in class. Okay, let can me, let me can, the, yeah, can, can you I, I was just going to do yeah. that. I will show you a very basic and important asan. It's called uh, Thar Asan. It is a tree pose. It is uh, one of the asan that we uh, work with children uh, for increasing their height. And it's good for uh, anybody with constipation. It's good for your backs and to strengthen your shoulders. Now the way to do it is we first stand straight, become aware of our body. It's very important. Become aware where you are today. You are feeling relaxed. If you're feeling a little anxious, no problem. Just be aware of what you're feeling, how your body is placed. Then you raise your hands to the side and then you come bring them up. With every movement there is awareness. Put them together, fold them up and come up on your toes, keeping your balance. Now, at this point, your gaze is fixed at one point and we stay in this. Stay till you are comfortable. Now, if you feel, first the mind will realize that I am going to go out of balance. When you feel you're going to go out of balance, then gently open your hands, bring your hands to the side and come back down. Now, this is the right way of doing it. What happens in our life, we like to push ourselves, just like we like to push ourselves in uh, wanting to be better. We push ourselves. Yoga teaches you how to center yourself. P what people do is, before even lifting their hands up here, their mind is there, right? So when you are, this is, this just, this little movement is causing anxiety because your my hands are here and you're already there. So instead of coordinating your hand, breath, mind, body movement, you're all over the place and trying to match the person next to you and stand like this and then you go out of balance. 
and this this physical going out of balance it tells the subconscious that you are out of balance so it will affect you on the mental plane and it will affect you on your emotional plane this is another balancing asan vrikshasan it's called tree pose and this is uh, very good for strengthening of your legs balancing in the physical plane balance even in the mental plane and emotional plane in this we have to find our own balance not the person next to you not the picture you saw your own balance let me show you the pose initially and then i can show you what we can uh, ve do variations of it um you have to be again aware of your body where you are today in a happy and relaxed place because that is what yoga asan is to have a relaxed and steady pose a uh, vrikshasan is tree pose first you lift your leg this is number 1 position up into your leg make yourself steady on the side and if you lose your balance like i am today it's all right maybe today you are just a little out of balance and you put your arms up straight and look comfortably at a place and fix your gaze and stay in it till you're comfortable when you're ready to come out of it put your arms down slowly hold your foot and place it down this is a way of doing vrikshasan now what happens is sometimes we don't have a balance here but we want to push ourselves we feel oh this is the right way to do it instead we place it here this injures the knee and repetitive use of this pose will injure your knee and that's when we say yog injured me instead place your foot on the ground find your balance maybe your balance is here today tomorrow it might be there not on the knee that is cause for injury maybe your balance will come here or there'll be a time when you are totally balanced in your mind body spirit and you stand as solid as a tree so that is how we injure ourselves and this is a relaxed position.